Pinot Black, folks. There it is. About a month behind Elenin, folks. This will match like the October and November stuff. Alright. It follows Elenin, folks. Made a fast uh, video last night. Yeah, it shakes around and stuff like that, but that means that it will get broadcast, folks. I am not tied to anybody. Okay? So that's the reasoning behind the jittery video. You're going to get the truth, folks. Nibiru, folks. It follows Elenin. That's Elenin. That's Elenin. That's Elenin. This is caught on a private telescope, folks. No overlord action. That's one of the tetrahydrons. Here's another tetrahydron down here. There's another tetrahydron. When we move up, there's another tetrahydron. 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 That's Allen and Nibiru's pattern. Elenin is behind all the tetrahydrons. Or basically I quoted that wrong because Elenin is with him. She flops. It's gas. Nibiru gets hidden behind it. Alright. Tetrahydrons. Elenin. It's what everybody went searching for, the time period and the clock of the universe. The Mayans, the Aztecs, the Pharaohs. On my website I constantly have the NASA footage that the guy put on the YouTube. Yes, the music is annoying and old. Elenin, folks. Elenin hides Nibiru. Nibiru is massive. We also have our second moon, Oricus, going to be around here in 2019. Okay. I will do a video later today also about all the suns that we have that are close to our sun and it's hard to know whether because they hide the data whether it is Alifra which I do believe is like the orange peel sun and that's a tetrahydron of Elenin Elenin folks one of our tetrahydrons and then up there is Nibiru again folks and in the video that I'll give the afternoon, there's going to be a lot more videos, folks, because I'm having problems uploading pictures. So you're going to get these authentic, won't be able to be dragged down off the YouTube. This is information. These are photos from the second, from a private telescope, folks. Okay. There's Elenin. Tetrahydrons, you can see. And as I move in, and then I'll move back out, there's Elenin. And I'll move up a little bit. There's Nibiru, folks. There's Nibiru. There's Elenin. Elenin. Even in an x-ray photo, folks, up here, no Nibiru. Then you look a little harder, and there is Nibiru. Elenin. And I 
believe if I'm looking right on this one, she's about right there. But let's go one more photo over. Okay, here's another infrared, and there you go. Elenin. Nibiru. Now what they're going to tell you is they're going to say, oh, he's getting images that are in space as Elenin is going along. Correct. There are planets around here that are... But when it's going through space at 26,000 miles an hour, and I keep on being able to show you some of the others that are coming with Nibiru, because there's Elenin, there's Nibiru lower, there's Alanin. Also, folks, we are eventually going to end up up by the supergiants. We'll be fine because all these billions of years we've always come out of this stuff unscathed. Yes, the Earth was probably a star at one time. Okay? That's why we have inner core heat. We cooled over time. Now there's one of the very interesting tetrahydrons, folks, on a real nice cl up close shot. And yes, they end up looking like some kind of manta ray in the sky, okay? Some kind of manta ray in the sky. There's Allen on the infrared, and there's one of the, the tetrahydrons that's really close to it. And then the tetrahydrons also end up looking like that little dark spot. And don't complain about the video, you're getting shots. Otherwise, you wouldn't get these shots because they're not going to show you Nibiru. Infrared. Infrared. Nibiru. Now I move up on it. Not going away from the shot. I don't know if I'm getting it clear enough there, but there is Nibiru. Tetrahydrin is out in front of Nibiru there on that shot. Okay. I think you can see it a little bit better there on that one. Okay. Elenin. So it's worth the watch through all the bumpy fall around and stuff like that because I can zoom it in hella clear and you can see it. It's just me getting it off the infrared, off the telescope shots and showing you folks. And I'll be honest, last night I had a hard time. For some reason, it wouldn't load. And we'll see if this loads. Okay? 